Hello, music bear here with a cold, but I think we can manage anyway. Um, first of all, it's the days between Christmas and New Year's Eve, so I would like to wish you all a happy New Year. Um, and with that in the back, let's uh, start this tutorial. This is about um, uh, low frequency oscillators uh, in uh, standard LMS uh, and um, what we can do with different kind of definition of this um, low frequency oscillator or LFO. The first thing I have here is a um, standard uh, elements uh, triple OC and I have um, made an uh, uh, LFO that controls the pitch of the instrument. When we are going to play this now um, what we actually is going to hear is that that kind of LFO is continuous Listen to this now. It's very exaggerated because, well, that's just help the understanding. Listen. What you sh uh, very clearly can hear is that each note produces a different uh, output. Uh, and I have made sure here that you understand that the difference in, s in, in position of the notes are important. Um, because what we want to, to make, and kind of also, if you are not uh, interested in this at all, and think that it is pretty stupid, it would be okay to um, play um, what we are going to achieve. Listen. This is the exact same pattern. We can show the pattern. You see here, this is the pattern. But listen now to this. This LFO is per note, meaning that it doesn't matter where the note is placed in the piano roll. It doesn't matter um, uh, 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 no, that's not true. The length of the n uh, of the note actually uh, does matter, because if we shorten a note here, um, it will be different, because it won't reach to the same. Um, I can take another here and make it longer. Uh, it won't uh, come to the same uh, position in the env uh, in the envelope, but the start of the sound will be exactly the same and that's the power of uh, per note LFOs. <laughs> you hear that? If we do the same in um I'll move that oh sorry, that guy there and take that guy there and do the same here. Then listen how different take the notes up again. Listen to how different this sounds. Now of course it's it matters what you want. If you want to have continuous envelopes, then the default uh, envelopes uh, uh, in the LFO uh, in uh, elements is perfect but if you want to have per note um, LFOs uh, you will have to look elsewhere and the elsewhere I'm going to look today is um, in Synth 1 and um, I like to um, I like to start out in um, Synth 1 with what I called a flattened envelope. Uh, no, not what I call a flattened envelope, what it is called. 
flatten envelope. No, go away. Um, a flattened envelope means that there's nothing at all in this section here. There is nothing activated here. You can see the LFOs are out. We have an amplifier with a so-called flattened envelope, meaning that there's no attack. There's medium uh, decay, there's full sustain, and there's medium uh, release. Gain is uh, set to the value where you can hear the instrument. And we have uh, 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 ne neutral velocity. That goes like this. <laughs> It's a little bit in between <laughs> piano or guitar, but that's what you get from um, having a, a uh, flattened envelope. Frequency is also medium, um, so there's nothing, uh, no influence from the filter really in 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 in, in here a bit, but. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Flattened envelopes, um, I like to start with, with that when I make uh, something. So, um, of course it's going to use the LFO and I just have to make sure that it is inside. It's not really inside, so I'll just move this guy here. So now you can see everything you need to see. The LFO of uh, uh, SYNT1 um, is activated when uh, it is turned uh, yellow. There are two LFOs. Um, so we're only going to use the, the, the first one here. And the, the setting that is we are going to use is um, we're going to send it true oscillator 1 but controlled by oscillator 2 so that is there what we're going to synchronize it to is the key because key means that every time we press a key it will start the envelope uh, from the start so that is actually where we control uh, the per key or per note envelope so that is the standard setting of the LFO. Oscillator 1, true oscillator 2, synchronized to key, and then we have to look into if, if this is, is, is fitting, but I'll just come to that in a moment. In order to have an LFO run at all in um, SYNT1, you need to amplify the uh, LFO, and that is actually uh, quite a lot like we have in uh, standard LMS uh, uh, where you can make the uh, LFO have more or less um, movement inside the uh, actual span. So the, the, the larger this, uh, sp uh, this amplifying is, the more dramatic or uh, the, 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 the more um, what do you say, um, pronounce the, the, the axis or the excess of the envelope will be, of the LFO, sorry. And the speed is kind of saying uh, quite of uh, self-explanation, uh, isn't it? It's how fast this LFO is going to move. We are going to work a little bit with those also. Um, we also need, because we want to have the, the, the second oscillator to control the first oscillator, then we have to have them into the mix. So I'm putting uh, these two oscillators to 50-50. And um, if I play now, it won't sound very good. Here I have the a note. 
that's achieved already, right? But I also need to track them so that every time I hit a key, the uh, oscillator two will keep track of the pitch of oscillator one. Listen. actually it. Now I have an LFO that works per note. We have a problem though. We have this problem that if you can see here that I have chosen this uh, saw pattern and um, that will always make the, uh, the, 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 the sound go down in pitch. Listen. That's and we do not have an inverting of this pattern. So we cannot turn it to a racing pattern. Well, we can if we use the triangle. But now we only have half a pattern that we are going to use because we want to stop it there. And then we have to look this is going to be a little bit more complicated now. Then we have to go to look at what is the length of the notes that we are trying to play with this effect. And we will have to adjust the speed accordingly so that we are only getting the speed of the LFO or rather the, the span of the LFO with that speed to exactly that point and then it should be uh, end of note. Right. That can be achieved with different kind of um, effect, uh, different kind of start and end points by changing the pitch of the LF2. LF02. Listen. <laughs> Can't say anything when, when uh, one of these guys is opened it's muted. So, listen. It's coming from a rather low point, right? So if I change the pitch, it'll come from a rather, uh, not rather higher, but it'll come from a higher point. We also have different um, wave shapes and they will, of course, we take the pitch to a position here again. Here, so. Yep. Uh, come on. There. Uh, we'll also change the output. that noise is not going to work. And one of the things that uh, is uh, neg uh, neglected by a lot when they are working with Sunt 1 is that we also actually has a third oscillator here which can be set to uh, a negative octave that's been minus 1 in all to the same as oscillator one and we have to turn it up in order to and we can make another effect out of that oscillator when you're creating instruments in Synth 1. I'll just turn, turn it down again. Uh, so there you go how to make per note <laughs> per note um,
slides in Sunt 1 that always will be the same um, without any regards to how the notes are Here we have different length of notes right? but the start point always be the same and that's what we want of course we can um, experiment with oh sorry I often do that we can experiment with different um, shapes here we also have the sign shape so that will give another output but it doesn't really make a lot of sense to uh, to use the um, uh, uh, the square because that's uh, discrete so it'll just be clock clock um, but it will be the same clock clock um, listen maybe you can find in some kind of usage for that too but discrete uh, LFOs and continuous LFOs two different things completely and since one is only one of the uh, the VSTS that you can do this with you can also do it with the kind of uh, confusing oatmeal um, that's a little bit more tricky uh, since one is so beautifully uh, made uh, I, I love it simply I think it's a fantastic VST but you can do it with oatmeal you can do it with uh, um, What's the other guy uh, called? I oh, can't remember. Uh, Podolsky, uh, one of the Yuhi uh, free uh, um, BSTS, also very, very good, very good sound. Um, and with that, I think I will call it a Christmas day. No, that's too late for that. But as I said, uh, and the first of this uh, tutorial um, late Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you happy LMS users bye bye <laughs>